Hey, Nathan here from PH Studios. Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial from the TDCS. And in this tutorial, we're going to expand upon the grass texture and create these little dirt paths that the monster will travel along. So we're going to use the grass texture as a base and we're going to create a dirt tile above that. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to grab the top corner which is the this corner right here since that's the base one and we want to create a new project and if you you could I'll provide this to you in the description so just look in the YouTube description or the forum post description and you'll have access to this grass tile uh, image and just create a new Photoshop document and just put that texture in there and of course at the end of the video I will give you the grass tile with the dirt path Photoshop document so you can look at the end result okay so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that we want to do is we want to create go to view at the top and let's create new guides they're going to be horizontal and let's set about 10 pixels and do the same thing go to view new guide it's going to be horizontal and let's make it 52 pixels since this is a 62 pixel image so now there are 10 pixels from the edge I'm sorry it's 64 pixels so let's undo that and let's go to horizontal and 54 pixels there we go now it looks correct all right so 10 pixels in on the top and bottom and we want to create the dirt path in this rectangle here so let's go ahead and grab the rectangular marquee tool and make sure it has style as normal and let's just create a rectangle here okay now we want to copy just this part of the grass texture so with this rectangle section selected and make sure that the grass layer is selected on the right side hold down the command key on Mac or control key on Windows and press the J key so as you see we have a new layer that is just that rectangular part okay so now what we need to do for this one is we need to go to the hue and saturation uh, command U on Mac or control U on Windows and let's check this colorize box and let's make it about a brownish color uh, let's make it a darker brown bring up the saturation a little bit a little bit darker a little bit less saturation all right so you can make it whatever color you want to if you want to make it a weird dirt color or something like that you're welcome to do so all right so now that we have that rectangular part let's go to view and clear guides so that way we can have a look at it now if you're happy with this it's the path that the monsters will travel that's fine if you want to make it a little bit more interesting you can just select this dirt layer go to filter distort in either wave or ripple let's choose a ripple uh, let's make it a little bit less so how about 50 percent and now we have a ripple effect okay so now let's go ahead and go to image canvas size and let's set the width to 128 so we can support twice the width we just want to do at this point we just want to see if it's tileable right away all right so select the grass layer and the dirt layer and duplicate it and then move it back over here 
and we can see it's not that tileable. So, like we did in the previous few tutorials that I mentioned the tileable, how to fix it. We want to fix it by going back to the original one, which is this one. And let's zoom in a little bit. And what we want to do here is we want to erase the original one, the part where it just has a hard edge right here. We want to erase that part. So we want to match it pretty easily. That looks okay. All right. So now that is done, let's delete the copies. Let's duplicate the original and let's see if the end result is how we want it. All right, that looks pretty good. So now we need to delete this and go back to image trim transparent pixels top bottom left and right and okay so now we're back to the 64 by 64 all right so that's pretty much it for creating a dirt texture now how do you make a turn or whatever how to make it a little bit more interesting so what I had to do I grabbed the marquee tool and I selected about half of it and then I duplicated that command J or control J and I deleted the part below it So I deleted it on the layer below it. So now I just have a split layer. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to move this one by doing a free transform, control T or command T and rotate it till it's right there. And then this one needs to be at the center of the vertical of the horizontal direction so once that's at the center now we need to create the turn here the little edge here so let's go ahead and go back to the grass layer and select just a big chunk here and just like last time control J or command J just to grab that patch of grass. Now let's move it below the top two and let's change the hue again to match the color of your choice. Okay, brought the lightness down. That down a little bit. Lightness a little bit up. saturation it doesn't have to match exactly and I'm not going to get it to match exactly for this tutorial it was probably a good idea to remember those numbers and actually you write it down okay so now what we need to do is we need to get the new guides back and make sure everything matches 10 px horizontal 54 px horizontal ten px vertical and fifty four px vertical. So now we just need to make sure that everything matches here. So what we need to do now is to grab the pen tool 
and we just want it as a path we do not want it as a shape layer and then select where this layer and the bottom layer meet so at this point here so I'll just select it here and do the same thing for this layer and the top layer so at this point here where these two edges meet and then create the nice curve however you want it to look hold down alt and click this point here and now we can just go in as far as we want to and there we go so once we have the path we right click it and we do make selection no feather click OK Con command shift I or control shift I to select inverse and delete now we go to view and clear the guides and we need to match it up properly so let's go to the this part here delete this All right, now this top layer here, do the same thing. Okay. Now let's zoom out and see how it looks. That looks pretty good. Now, if you want it to be a smooth transition, you might notice that there's a little hard edge right here. So you can just do an erase to make it blend in a little bit more. Uh, maybe erase this part here. Just make it blend in just a little bit more than it used to be. All right, so that's how you can create a turn for the tile. Okay, so now let's go to image, canvas size, and let's make it a very large canvas, 1,000, 1,000. Okay, so now I want to duplicate the entire thing, all those four layers. I want to move it up top, and I want to rotate it. I'm just checking to see if it's tileable. Just like last time, and uh, we might need to change that if we if we want to. So we change it by changing the left side of the original. So we change this layer here. Alright, so let's erase that just a little bit. Let's delete the copies. And let's duplicate them again. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing this. You saw me do this quite a bit on the grass tile. So just try to get it to match properly. Might take a few tries. As you see, there's still a little bit there that should not be there. If you're not that picky about being a perfectionist like me, you can just leave it like this. Uh, just make sure that you, if you want to, you just check if it's tileable or not. Now you need to check both sides and you need to get them correct. Alright, so that is done. Let's go back to image trim and trim it. Alright, so I'll give you this access to this Photoshop document and you also have access to the PNG file of the grass texture. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.